Hello there. In this video we're going to uh, show you how to add a splash screen to a doc shell application. So the model that we're seeing here is a, a, a continuance of the uh, video, the introduction to doc shell video. So if you haven't uh, watched that video, um, it might be a good idea. But basically the elements that you see here are part of a doc shell application. And when I hit run, the application will uh, compile uh, and will run your light switch application. And you can see here, this is a doc shell uh, application that um, we have uh, modeled. And so what we'll do now is we'll um, show you how to add a splash screen. So if you look in the toolbox, uh, there is a icon um, called the splash screen tool. All you do is you drag it to your uh, navigation uh, and application uh, model and take a link from your application root shell, which is this uh, uh, element here, which this represents your, uh, the shell of your application, and then drag it to the, uh, to the actual um, splash screen itself. If we look at the properties currently for that splash screen, we can see that it has a, a delay to close of 10 seconds, something that you can adjust. And you notice here it has an export name. And if I click that, you'll notice um, it actually doesn't open up a window, which it should do. And the reason that's um, not opening a window is because we currently don't have a splash screen defined in our project. So um, let's go take a look at how to do that. So within the uh, Logical, if you're in the logical view, switch over to the file view and go to your client project. And what we like to do is we like to add a folder um, pretty much for every element that you would add to your model uh, under DocShell. So we have already a DocShell folder that we created in our introductory video. And inside that we have a model, which is the model that you're looking at here. And this is the code generated um, files that come out of that model. And then below that, we, we actually have, um, we do have a folder that we created earlier called Splash Screen. We just didn't add it uh, into the solution. So I'm just going to include that into the project. And then I'll go and describe the elements within it. As you see, uh, inside this folder, we have a component, um, a standard uh, doc shell type component. And this one is, a, um, basically it's a, a Splash Screen, um, uh, iDoc shell splash screen MEF component. You can see here that, that we've given it a unique name, my splash screen, and some metadata on top. And that's how you define the code behind for the splash screen. The actual uh, splash screen itself, in this case here, is a simple screen that in this screen where we have a image, and in that image we are going to fade that image from its opacity of 0.3 to a full um, opacity over a period of six seconds. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do. So once you have that defined, that component, you need you need to build your build your project. Now we are getting a, a validation errors here is because um, of the fact that we added the element here, but we don't actually have an export defined. In other words, we don't have. If I was to go into the properties. We don't have this element defined. So you can either ignore the error or you can remove this temporarily and hit save and then do your compile. And then that will allow you to uh, uh, build successfully. So we'll do that first. And so once it's built, we now go back to the step of adding uh, from our toolbox If you don't see your toolbox, you can go view toolbox. Oops, there we go. And again, we drag our splash screen onto our onto our canvas. Drag a link from our application root shell to our new splash screen element. Select properties. And at this point, I also still expect it not to show up here. And why is that? Well, even though that we compiled the um, element into our client, we actually have one more step here, which is to refresh the light switch model. So since this model is, uh, um, hasn't been refreshed, it wouldn't have actually picked up the, the uh, export itself. So now that we've done that, we should, yep, see our iDoc shell splash screen. So this would show us all of the splash screens that you've defined. And in this case here, we want to pick this one. Okay, and we're going to leave that at 10 seconds so that uh, um, 
just show you that. So it's at 10 seconds, and that's it. Let's give it a run and see what it looks like. So as you can see, the first screen that comes up fades in. Very slow fade and gradual fade into the logo. And after 10 seconds, uh, you know, we go to here. It, whatever you want to do from a, a blending perspective, that's completely up to you. Um, you have the ability to uh, control that. And one last thing we'll show you is we'll just shorten that delay. So right now it's set to 10 seconds. Let's, let's change that and make it uh, 4 seconds and rerun this application. And here we go. There you go. So uh, what we've demonstrated here is the ability to add a splash screen to a DocShell 2.0 application. Uh, for further information, please visit our website at www.softlandingcanada.com. Thank you and have a good day.